Ten years ago, could you imagine TSA be grabbing your genitals, sticking their hands down your pants? Ten years ago, could you imagine Chicago school districts won't let parents pack their own kids' lunches because, quote, they can't be trusted? Ten years ago, would you imagine in Oak Park, Michigan, that a woman couldn't put some little plant boxes in her front yard and grow some vegetables? There's not even a law. And then when she beat them because of public pressure, they came back with a no dog license charge from earlier harassment. They came back with old harassment. And I'm going to have her tell you that story now. This is harassment. This was from previously when she was fighting and they tried a no dog license thing on her. She went and paid that, did all that. Now they're back. Even after she was in court a month ago, they're back. And uh, she now joins us. Uh, Julie Bass, thank you for joining us. You are the garden terrorist. Apparently I am. I want to say thank you so much for having me and thank you to your listeners. They've been among the most vocal spokespeople in my defense and they're all over the internet in my corner and I just really, really want to thank you guys for that. Well, thank you so much. Yes, we have the best listeners on the planet because they're active, they're angry, they're awake. They realize that in North Korea, if you're not in one of their slave camps, you're allowed to have a garden in your front yard. In fact, you're ordered to. So now we have surpassed North Korea in this area. Um, it looks like, yeah, and the garden charge, just to be clear, they've only um, dismissed it without prejudice, which means they can actually bring it back anytime they want. And the prosecutor said he wants more time to review the ordinance, oh, yes. um, which kind of left us, you know, with the impression that it might be coming back also. So okay, so briefly it. break down... Because uh, 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 reading your blog, uh, let me give folks the name of that, Oak Park uh, Hates Veggies, uh, .wordpress.com. To be clear, this was already part of the previous harassment when you wouldn't get rid of the evil vegetable garden. Uh, uh, oh, we saw a dog over your fence. And, and, and so you'd already gone and submitted to them on this. Now they're back. Uh, yeah. We showed the proof when we went the first time to court. The prosecutor asked us to be taken care of it. And I showed him the licenses, I showed him the confirmation from the city, the official stamps, the receipts, everything. And he said, okay, and he marked something down in the paper. And it wasn't brought up when we went in front of the judge. Nobody said anything. Nobody said anything at any later date. Um, and then when they sort of under the radar did this weird dismissal of the garden charge, the same day they decided they would reinstate these two misdemeanor charges of not having current dog licenses. Well, I want to be clear. I've got dogs that don't have dog licenses. A license is authorization to do something that would otherwise be illegal. They've been found unconstitutional time and time again. Uh, but this really shows the chicken. Well, I don't want to use the there's a term for chicken. You know what? That behave like this. I mean, this is the most petulant, low down, slimy, control freakish, bad PR. Your neighbors love the uh, wicked uh, garden. Uh, I mean, I mean, who are these people? Oh, boy, I wish I even knew who was driving it. I mean, the people that I've had contact with directly from the city have been really, really nice and really, really personable. And then all of a sudden, at every turn, they've just dug in their heels and done these irrational things and just... Have you heard of Agenda 21? Because under the UN, you've got to get permission to, to literally breathe. You've got to pay them taxes. And gardening is something they want to shut down. Have you heard of that UN uh, Global Standardization Program? Um, you know what, I've heard of it, but I haven't really researched it properly. So well, that's what this is. Uh, so continuing now, you're facing what? I mean, now they're back uh, with these uh, charges. We're all going to be safer once you're behind bars. Um, so now it's actually two misdemeanors each 93 days of jail time instead of the one misdemeanor on the garden charge originally. Even though when they were trying to harass you with this earlier for the gardening, they threw the dog thing at you, you went and paid it. I, now, again, these people aren't stupid. Uh, they've got to know that in the law that if they accepted you already once in court, that you went and got the license, that it isn't an issue. I mean, this is starting to look like a civil rights uh, violation, a, a RICO act. I mean, they, this is starting to really get into your civil rights here. These people are really dangerous. It's definitely starting to make us uneasy. It's definitely, you know, starting to kind of creep us out and make us a little paranoid thinking there's, you know, something behind every rock. But, um, you know, we're trying to keep our heads straight and stay focused. And stay why don't you vote with your feet? I mean, it's not letting them run you out, but why don't you pull out a Dodge and say, look, let Michigan collapse or let that town collapse and go somewhere where, where they don't think it's North Korea? Um, you know, we've thought about it, and people have um, written on the blog about places where they live that are much more person-friendly. Um, you know, if it was as simple as just the choice to pick up and move and we had, were independently wealthy and we could just buy.